Okay, so lately my dog has been freaking out and trying to get out of the house and we haven't been able to figure out why. Like all of a sudden she'll just go scratch at the door and then she'll run off and like my son found her like out in the middle of the main road today. So we're trying to figure out what's going on and I think I figured it out. So I think when my Garmin beeps, the dog freaks out. So let's go check this out. Okay, so here she is acting normal which is relative. So now I'm going to go turn on the Garmin and see if she freaks out again. Okay, so she's still somewhat normal. All right, let's turn this thing on. There she goes. That's it. We figured it out. She does this. Now she has to get out of the house. Stop scratching the door. No, no. She freaks out. And she starts shaking. Oh my gosh. All right, so there we go. I figured out why my dog was freaking out. When I say freaking out, like she would shake for like an hour. Like, and, and, and then she like would scratch on the doors and had to get out of the house. And then we, you know, we, at first we thought she had to go to the bathroom, but then we'd find her like a quarter of a mile away. And then today my son found her like like out of the neighborhood, like on a busy road, like she, she took off. So I don't know if it's the beeping sound, if it's, there's some kind of high frequency that the Garmin emits, but uh, this is, so now we're gonna have to get an invisible fence because uh, she, you know, she almost like, she almost got hit by a car today because she was out on a really busy road and my son just, you know, went out on his bike and threw the bike down and grabbed her. So now that we know what's going on, uh, maybe I'll just plug the Garmin in, in the garage from now on, but um, wow. So I've got to go buy an invisible fence so we don't lose our dog. Well, we are now the owners of the Stay and Play wireless fence. We picked this up from PetSmart today. They should call it the Stay and Pay because this thing was $300. So, yeah, I'm investing in my dog's safety. As frustrated as she makes me sometimes, I really am not excited about putting a shock collar on my dog, but hey, if it saves her life, it's worth it, right? Well, I can't find an instruction manual for this thing. <laughs> there, there's not one in the box. I guess maybe I have to go online. This is probably not something you want to try to figure out on your own. <laughs> I have a little frequently asked questions thing on the side of the box. Will it hurt my dog? <laughs> no. The correction is delivered when a pet crosses the established boundary zone. It is designed to get your pet's attention, but not punish him. <laughs> okay. So I guess I'll go online and try to figure this thing out. All right. You want to go outside? All right, come on. Go. Run free. Go. Set. Go. the stay and play wireless pet fence from PetSafe, our dog can run freely, worry free. But seriously, I would have paid a lot more than $300 for psychological counseling for the family had the dog been hit by a car. So it was a worthy investment. So it's pretty cool, man. You just plug this thing in a room and let it go and it sends out a radius. So you can set it narrow or wide. I think we have it up to 150 feet so she can run a pretty good section of the yard. Right, Georgia? So the dog freaking out with the Garmin is kind of an issue because I can't even plug my Garmin in the house uh, without her going crazy. And even when I come home from a ride and I turn the Garmin off in the garage and she hears it beeps, uh, she freaks out I and mean, she can hear it from inside the house. So it's crazy. So you learn something new every day, right? If your dog is freaking out when you get home from your ride, 
It could be your Garmin.